Three, two, one. Hey everybody, this is Joe from Geek Cetera, and in this video, I want to talk about why I think it's time for a brand new F-Zero game from Nintendo. Now let's get geeky. Alright, if you know me, I'm kind of the resident Nintendo geek here. My first console was the Wii. Super Smash Bros. Brawl was my first introduction to F-Zero as a franchise. And I mean, that was quite an introduction. The music, the attitude, even Captain Falcon himself is just the poster boy for hype and excitement in the series. He's been in since the beginning, and he's never failed to be absolute, unbridled fun to play as or against. This racing bounty hunter demands precision and rewards you with power, just like in the game. As a kid though, I never saw much of anything past that of the series. He might have been fighting against Nintendo mainstays such as Mario, Link, and Kirby, but up until then I'd never played an F-Zero game. These days, it's almost worse for the poor captain. We can still play the original SNES game on the Nintendo Switch Online service, but that hasn't really aged well and other games are really hard to come by. F-Zero Climax was the last game in the franchise. That was released only in Japan, and it was released in 2004. I was three then. To be perfectly honest, I've still never played an F-Zero game. The original hasn't aged the best, as I said, and it kind of gives me a headache, though it was advanced for the time. And F-Zero GX on the GameCube, while it is still accessible via Wii backward compatibility, it's not easy to get your hands on, it's expensive, so it's not a great introduction to the series for someone who'd want to try it out. Though this is the style I'd want to see in a new game. Though, can I just say, I love how the design of this series is. Every character is just over the top, looks just like a comic book hero. Every machine is sleek and functional without sacrificing style, and the tracks are all just a spectacle to see. Even the more monotone tracks, they feel lived in and like they're part of a bigger world. Honestly, this series is just overdue for an HD entry. Unfortunately though, Nintendo, as always, has a really strange approach when it comes to sequels. They like to add gimmicks to familiar series, such as new control schemes with Nintendo Wii's motion controls, or when it's not new controls, it's new mechanics, sometimes even abandoning the original vision of the series for a new gimmick. They really don't like to do the same thing twice, and I think it's because they don't like to reinvent the wheel. If they did it right once, why do it again? The problem is, F-Zero is a really simple franchise. The focus is on fast-paced racing with precise controls and danger at every bend. Adding much to that would be just a detriment. Adding items would dilute the entire skill of the game, making it more luck-based, and changing the base mechanics would probably turn away some older fans. Here's my argument though. Why reinvent the wheel when you have a new audience to sell it to? As I've mentioned, F-Zero is represented in Smash Bros, one of Nintendo's most popular game series. It's also referenced in other games like Mario Kart. Specifically, Mario Kart 8 has two tracks based on F-Zero, Mute City and Big Blue. That's what HD F-Zero could look like? Sign me up. Big Blue is one of the best Mario Kart tracks of all time, fight me on that. The Blue Falcon even was in Mario Kart Wii, one of my favorite games of all time. I mean, I can't believe it was right under my nose as a kid growing up, I didn't realize that's what it was. The point is though, people like me who grew up playing on the Wii and Wii U, now even the Switch, we've seen the legacy of this series, though we've never played a game in the series ourselves. A 2012 interview with Shigeru Miyamoto has an interesting quote from the state of the franchise. This is a quote. What do you want from F-Zero that we haven't done before? I'll counter that right here, right now. For me, you haven't done F-Zero. Not a game I can play. I'd love to play F-Zero GX. As I've mentioned, the Wii backwards compatibility, that's awesome feature, but I can't get a copy easily. The brand new feature from F-Zero I'd want to see is a brand new F-Zero. And if that's not good enough for Nintendo, then I have an idea. GameCube didn't really have any online functionality, and the Switch does. Give us an online versus mode, 
something like Mario Kart has with the ranking system so you can compete against each other. Even if you didn't add that in, I'd still totally buy the game. And the Switch is huge. Even if only 10% of people who got a Switch also got the game, that would still be 8 million copies sold. Splatoon 2, another very successful game, getting another sequel soon in fact, sold 12 million copies. I assure you the people who would buy a new F-Zero are people like me. We've seen it in Smash Bros, we've seen it in Mario Kart, we've seen it in other games. And not to mention all the fans who've seen the series before played their own games. Of course, there would be a few who skip, but there always are, and I believe a new F-Zero on Switch, even despite that, would be a phenomenon. You really don't need any new gimmicks or features to make a good game. You just need the core gameplay and the ability for potential new fans to obtain it. Anyway, that's enough mindless rambling from me. Do you agree with me that Captain Falcon needs a new F-Zero game? Or do you think it's time that he finally retired? How about other ideas for a sequel? That maybe I missed. Leave a comment below and let us know. We'd love to see it and it supports the channel. And finally, all the sellout stuff. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Thumbs down if you didn't. But leave a constructive criticism in the comments. Tell us how we can improve. Of course, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see more. Make sure you never miss a video. It is free. Helps out the channel. And until next time, show me your moves. <laughs>